Whenever I'm using one of the large profile bits here in our shop, such as the multi-profile bit or the classical bit, I always follow a few key rules. The first is I'm always going to run these bits in my router table. These bits are simply too large in diameter, too tall, and remove too much material to safely run in a handheld router. The second key is I want to always use a variable speed router in my router table, or if I only have a single speed router available, I want to use a router speed controller. My goal is to get these bits spinning at between 12 and 18,000 RPM, depending on how much of the profile of the router bit that I'm using, how much material I have to remove in a single pass, and also the material itself. If I'm using something like this red oak, to make a cut, I'm going to be running the bit at a lower RPM than say if I was removing the same amount of material in pine or poplar. So I'm going to be able to fine tune that RPM speed to the material that I'm cutting. The final thing I want to do is make sure I use the best work holding I have available. What I mean by that is I want to use my feather boards, I want to use my hold downs, I want to use push sticks, push blocks, whatever I have available to eliminate vibration in the workpiece. This will extend the life of the router bit and produce a much better quality of cut, which means I'm going to have to spend less time sanding my work and I'm going to retain those nice, clean, sharp edges to the profiles that my router bit makes.